Hello guys, Nato Ace here and I want to give my thoughts on Discotech's presentation on Twitter and a particular anime that fun is going to be released in the West. However, there is some sort of caveat, but it's not a bad thing and I will explain it why. So before that, you might say, how come you did not give your thoughts on the Anime Expo? Well, there were some, a lot of interested presentation but to some extent like for me it's not really kind of worth giving my thoughts on bottom line probably i'm just gonna say it's really awesome so but there was something interesting with the namco bandai presentation they did show some game one of them was my hero academia free to play brawl free for all brawl type of game and at least that one has english dub and then of course this one i want to do a follow-up on my third party partner showcase Nintendo Direct in that Kaiju game and it was also on that expo was announced that yes that game will be released officially in the west by Namco Bandai so they're the ones going to be publishing the game in the US so that's a follow up awesome and then the biggest one for me personally is One Piece Odyssey they showed more of the game an original story with original characters and I'm crossing my finger that it will have at least some sort of dub, especially since this year is the anniversary of One Piece. They are doing the One Piece Red film, and of course, everything this year is about One Piece. So I'm crossing my finger at least a paid English dub, because a lot of the trailers they're showing right now, there are no dubs. So again, so to some extent, the Anime Expo, it's good for what it is, but to some extent, it's not really worth kind of giving my topic out the bottom line is they're awesome it's awesome so it is what it is even those mobile game manga announcement those anime dvd announcements so i mean if you want to know more about it you can always search it on google so with that said i do want to give my thoughts on two particular anime on discotech so they had some sort of presentation i guess i don't know it's either on twitch or it was just a uh, twitter so but i want to give my thoughts on two things first of all the 2001 Shaman King will finally be released in the West as its original. So people might not know that, yes, there was a dub version. However, it was by four kids. And if you know the history of four kids, they're shit. They ruined Pokemon. They ruined One Piece. People thought it was all hope was lost. But and then things changed around. Pokemon Company took over with the Pokemon anime. Funimation finally got the rights on One Piece and you know the story there. So another one was one was Shaman King. So of course I didn't really watch all of the episodes because there was some problems, there was some cut episode, the order sometimes messed up and I was watching it on channel 11 in my state. A lot of time I kind of missed some of the episode because of the baseball game, you know, but that was like 2001. So now disco tech is going to release this version the 2001 as its original however like i said the caveat is it's in japanese however you know me i'm always a supporter of japanese franchise to have english dub i always say that that's why i always harp on that like i said one piece odyssey hopefully but that's a different story there for this particular blu-ray collection I don't mind this one not having an English dub for Shaman King 2001. And the reason why is, is if you know the story was happening, there is a new reboot of the Shaman King. That's why. It was on Netflix exclusively. So if you have Netflix, you watch it. Oh my gosh. Oh man, I watched it. If you're a Shaman King fan, it's worth watching it. And if you want to know about the Shaman King storyline, and if you have Netflix, I recommend it if you have a chance and time try to watch the Shaman King on Netflix and for people who follow the four kids dub the biggest surprise in this one and I'm like oh my god I'm this is like crazy I mean wow is a lot of the characters reprise their role I'm not kidding most of them the voice for Anna for Manta Silva, oh man, there's a lot of them. Um, Lizer are the original voice from the four kids, but just like it's just everything was just right without the four kids' direction. I'm like, oh my god, this is like 
Wow! Crazy, like, yeah, most of the cast are back. I know there are some not, like, for the voice for Rei, Yo, Amino Maru, Rio, and some other. Yeah, they have new voice actor. But it is what it is. I, I, I assume it was going to be brand new cast, but no, for this one, they would one up. They got most of them back. I'm like, at first, when I saw the first episode, so Manta came out, I'm like, Wow, dang, is Maya playing tricks on me? This guy sounds the same as the one in four kids. And then later on in a different episode, Anna came in like, oh my God, she sounds like the one from four kids. And then I forgot the guy, Marco, Eric Stewart, AKA James, uh, Maximilian Pegasus, King Muscle, there you go, that guy, he's Marco, I'm like, oh my gosh. And then I looked it up on IMDB and I'm like, oh wow, that's, uh, Wow, that's crazy. That is crazy. Like, that's freaking awesome there. So, yeah. So, so that's the reason why for this one, the Shaman King 2001, I don't mind not having a dub. I think it's going to be weird for me saying this. It's also best not to dub this one. And again, the reason is because there is already a dub for the reboot Shaman King. It's just going to... Well, it's gonna probably, to some extent, gonna make your mind confused. Like, ah, oh, this is weird. Uh, oh man, they're dubbing this one. Because again, if you wanna hear the dub, uh, the improved dub of Shaman King, like I said, the Netflix Shaman King reboot, highly recommend it. So, kudos to Discotech for actually releasing this. And yes, for this one, for once, I don't need a dub for this one because I don't wanna mess my mind because I already watched the whole episode for the new Shaman King. I know. There's some flaw, like it was shorter, it was rushed, but again, it is a reboot, it is what it is there. So the second one, the second one here is, finally, all those freaking years. And I saw this anime when I was still in high school, like in 1996. That's how long time ago. Finally, in 2022, not only they're gonna remaster the video so remember this is like an old anime for the first time in history gunbuster will have an english dub yes it was announced apparently last year and now they show a clip finally a very old anime finally having an english dub i mean it's kind of interesting because to some extent a lot of old anime that doesn't have english dub i don't think you're gonna put english dub because that's like so old why would anyone watch it? I know, like, hey, I know, I know, I know. A lot of uber anime fans say, hey, Gunbuster's a cult classic. I get it. But at the same time, it's also an old anime, just saying there. But, you know, anything's possible. Sentai Filmwork, High Dive, they dub To Love Roo. And I think that anime was released, like, a couple of years ago. I can't remember when. And they even hesitated in the beginning to dub To Love Roo. But a lot of people did voice their concern, which is, thumbs up and they said okay and thank goodness that it was successful because if you didn't know there was a point by Santa Filmwork they were gonna say if people didn't watch this and dub and they didn't give a shit we're gonna stop it but yeah a lot of people did watch it and dub if I have a high dev account I will watch it so thumbs up for Santa Filmwork for dubbing that one so anyway back to Gunbuster that is awesome so this means that any old anime could possibly be dubbed also. Oh, not guess what? Another one. Ah, uh, what's that anime? Crap, it's on Crunchyroll and on Funimation right now. Prince of Tennis. Because if you didn't know, Viz Media, uh, I think, he dubbed the first 52 episodes. And then the uh, rest, they've been dubbed by, I guess, Funimation. So, yeah. And I'm like, oh my God, all those here, finally, a dub continuation of Prince of Tennis. I did watch it, but again... When you get a lot of shit offering to you, you don't know what, it's like an overload of buffet, but that's a different story there, again. So like I said, it is a possibility, so maybe in the long run, Hajime no Epon, I watched the sub. Hopefully they're a dub in the long run, have the old voice back, because there wasn't dub for Hajime Epon. maybe that'll be awesome. Let's see, okay, something really old, City Hunter, Kasai Cafe, you know it, so. It is a possibility, so hopefully more anime is gonna get dub. I mean, I would wanna see Machine Robo uh, dub, Voltes 5, Combatler V, Daimos, Super Robo Warrior anime, 
Hopefully those get dubbed in the long run. We'll see. But the problem sometimes is that you have to support it. So if people dub it and nobody gives a shit about it, like the series, it kind of sucks. So, I mean, it is what it is. But for one hundred percent for Gunbuster, there was a lot of, like, voices concerned. Like, yeah, we want to hear this in dub. So there you go. Awesome. Yeah, so hopefully more classic anime will have dub. We'll see what's going on there. So, yeah, so those are my thoughts on the two things that Discotech did. Gunbuster finally have a dub. Awesome. And the Shaman King 2001 finally has its original form. Not the For Kids one. Finally out in the West. And like I said, this one, English dub is unnecessary since there is a new version. If you want to hear it on dub, just... Watch that one. It's worth it. I'm just saying that. So with that, I'll see you guys later.